far-right alternative for Germany, AFD, is set to challenge Chancellor Olaf Scholz's Social Democrats, SPD, in Brandenburg's election this Sunday, threatening to upend the SPD's dominance in a traditionally left-leaning region. Just came around to say hello. Run, 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 I'm so fly. You took a no. Motorola Reza 50 Ultra flipped the script. Hello, Moto. An AFD victory would mark another surge for the party, which is gaining momentum across eastern Germany, driven by anger over economic struggles, immigration policies, and the Ukraine war. Earlier this month, AFD became the first far-right party since World War II to win a state election, securing victory in Thuringia and nearly taking first place in Saxony. The AFD's rise highlights deepening discontent in formerly communist-run Eastern Germany, where economic uncertainty and mistrust in traditional politics are fueling far-right support. Hans-Christoph Berndt, the AFD's lead candidate, has seized on public frustration, vowing to shake up the federal government. We urgently need a thorough course correction so the country does not go to the dogs. Despite its growing support, the AFD is unlikely to govern due to its lack of a majority and refusal by other parties to collaborate with it. Still, an AFD win would be a major embarrassment for the SPD, which has controlled Brandenburg since reunification in 1990. For Schultz, the stakes are dire. Already Germany's least popular chancellor, a defeat in Brandenburg could undermine his leadership ahead of next year's federal election. Brandenburg's SPD Premier, Dietmar Voidke, has distanced himself from Scholz, criticizing the chancellor's coalition and avoiding joint campaign events. Voidke has focused instead on Brandenburg's economic successes, such as Tesla's Gigafactory and the expansion of Brandenburg Airport, now Germany's third largest aviation hub. Despite these achievements, the SPD faces an uphill battle. Polls show the AFD leading at 28%, with the SPD trailing by just one point. Wojtka has vowed to prevent the far right from gaining ground, stating, My greatest challenge is to not allow right-wing extremists to have a say in this country. He has threatened to resign if the AFD finishes ahead of the SPD. AFD co-leader Tino Krupala used Wojtke's pledge against him, demanding Schultz step down if his party suffers defeat. It is high time this government suffer the consequences. Schultz's coalition partners, the FDP and Greens, are struggling to meet the 5% threshold needed to stay in Brandenburg's parliament, further complicating his political future. Nationally, Schultz's coalition is polling worse than the opposition Conservatives, though analysts say the landscape could shift before the 2025 federal election. Now it remains to be seen whether the SPD can fend off the AFD or face far-right dominance.